What are people talking about on social media today? The GOP debate, Republican candidates for their party's presidential nomination meet for the first time tonight in a much anticipated debate. Hello, I'm Martin Kidston and this is the 406 and now here are the state's top headlines. Members of armed groups that call themselves constitutional advocates have arrived in Lincoln to support an owner during an ongoing dispute with the U.S. Forest Service concerning a federal mining claim. Members of the groups Oath Keepers, Pacific Patriot Network, and 3% of Idaho have come to Lincoln to begin a security operation at the White Hope Mine east of the town. The group say that the mine claim held by George Cornack predates the 1955 regulations that granted surface rights to the Forest Service and instead falls under an 1872 law that would grant both surface and subsurface rights to Cornack. Montana officials have filed fraud and theft charges against the man accused of scamming investors into giving him more than $24,000 to produce a cowboy documentary he said would be narrated by Clint Eastwood. The film was bogus and the actor was never contacted, state prosecutors said. Other promises Matthew McClintock made were also false, they said, in charging papers filed on Wednesday in Missoula. Flathead County officials say at least two homes and six eight outbuildings were burned in a grass fire that forced the evacuation of another two dozen homes in Evergreen. Investigators believe a transient is responsible for the fire that started at around 4 p.m. on Wednesday. Curry says the man was interviewed and officers believe they know where the fire started. Charges are pending. Curry says the fire burned six and a half acres, two or three homes, and six to eight outbuildings. A special jury that convened for an inquest into the May shooting death of a Montana teenager at the hands of his friends has found the shooter committed justifiable homicide. Seth Culver, 17, shot and killed 15-year-old McKean, McKean Mackey Schulte when the younger boy knocked on his bedroom window in the middle of the night. The jury ruled Wednesday that Culver was justified in shooting the victim, who he thought was an intruder, and ruled the act was not criminal. Some crews battling a fire that has burned six square miles of Glacier National Park have been assigned to work along going to the Sun Road in an effort to make it safe to reopen an 18-mile stretch of the scenic highway. The road has been closed from the St. Mary Campground to Logan Pass since the Reynolds Creek Fire began on July 21st, about four miles west of the St. Mary Visitor Center. That's it for the 406. Subscribe to our 406 video channel and tell us your thoughts about the show in a comment. Have a great evening, Montana.